Good morning, everybody. I hope that everybody is doing good. So today we are going to do just a light look. Uh, dim this a little bit. We're going to do just a light look. Um, I really don't have any big plans on this look. I uh, just want to get ready for the day. And by getting ready for the day, I'm just going to uh, just have a little bit of fun. Hopefully, my little gar my, my girly girl will get on and have fun with me. I tell you, me and Jen have such a fun time <laughs> with this stuff. Oh, my goodness. So, I hope everybody's got a good day planned out. And I hope that we are uh, cross-like-minded. I know that's not always uh, you know uh, the way it is because there's things that get in the way with that but uh, anyway let's have some fun hey Jennifer I'm here <laughs> I'm always glad to see you sweetie you keep me good company. So, okay. Like I've been saying, we're just going to have a light look today. I've already got my uh, skin prepped. Um, I uh, have gotten my moisturizer, well, my serum on, my moisturizer on. And I always use the primer, uh, Camera Ready Pro. And uh have put on a, just a smidgen of the translucent powder and then I did uh, my spray. Now I did I did this morning I got up early so I went ahead and plucked some brows under here and and made it less hairy I guess you could say on top seems like a I don't really wax anymore. Um, I'm not saying I never will. But I have these little razors and they are so convenient that I just use them here at the house. And not only that, um, Last time it seemed like whenever I was getting my eyebrows waxed, I don't know if they put too much on it or something, but it seemed like it was pulling on my skin too much. So I uh, kind of, you know, put that at rest. Let me know who you are if you're on, because I can see. I just want you to say hi. So, um, okay, well, we're going to get started. Like I said, we're just going to do a light look. So let's. And you know what? I'm going to try something different. Let me know when you're on or who you are. Because uh, I can see you, but I want you to say hi. Okay, I usually put this on my face and let it dry. I'm going to try something different this time. I think I'm going to put it on the back of my hand with my foundation. And we're going to see what happens. So we're just gonna put, you know, just a dab. You know, Jen, that always scares people off. It's amazing what that will do. I'll say, say hi, and uh, they leave me. <laughs> I can see who's coming on, but you know, they need to say hi to me. I'd like to say hi, I'd like to, recognize them okay so i've got a couple of squirts there with that purple 
uh, color correction. I'm gonna mix that in. Yay! Well, you just do that, girly girl. I'm glad. Now, we're gonna put this on, but like I said, we're gonna see what this does. Jennifer, have you ever thought about doing this? I got to thinking, you know, it just seems like my skin is so dry. And I thought, I just wonder if, you know, putting on the uh, color corrector, yeah, uh, I just I just wonder if putting on that color corrector and letting it dry is kind of drying out my skin. So I thought, you know, I'm going to mix it. I'm going to see what happens. Okay, so we've got it on there and we've got a nice, I cleaned my kabuki brush. So we got a nice kabuki brush. I'm going in with the VFX. Which I love. That VFX to me, oh my goodness. Well, I would say the coverage is still pretty good. I would also say Jen, I think I'm going to like it better mixing it. I tell you, it feels a lot better. Oh, the VFX is, is major math. Hi, Brad, how are you? Uh, yeah, the VFX is magic. Uh, I love it. But you know what? Look at that. I mean, that is very light. And it's very lightweight. I think I'm gonna like it. Okay, so like I say, we're gonna go really light today. I am not gonna do, I, I will put a dimension into my face, but it's not gonna be real heavy and thick. And I may just do uh, just a little bit. I may not do in, in big depth because uh, I, I, like I said, I really do not want to wear, uh, you know, thick today or heavy today. It's really not thick. I don't think that um, pharmacy is, you know, a thick. It does always feel light on me, but with it being summer, I thought, you know, I am just gonna get my dimension in a lighter, in a in a light weight. Okay, so we've got some of the dimension going on, and let's get some concealer on. And brighten up this face. We'll come back to that. When I get through with my eyes. I tell you that just that just brightens up the face. I 
absolutely love our concealer. It always wants to brighten up. See, look at that. How that just brings it up and brightens it up. Do you like the concealer, Jen? Do you use a lot of it? Yes, 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 yes. Now, I do not have that problem. Whenever you get on, say hi. I'd like to say hi to you as well. Um, yeah, I don't have the problem with insomnia like you do, hun, but I, and I don't have really heavy dark circles, but I do have these lines. And, you know, on, like I said yesterday, on YouTube, they have shown that if you put it here instead of in it and on it, uh, uh, above it, that it really seems to camouflage it better. But you know what? I tried that, and it just did not go well. It didn't go right. Okay, let's get that blush on. So, do you have your little secrets on... Uh, how to do your concealer. Okay, we've got that blush going on up there. And remember, we always want to bring our face up. Y'all say hi when you get on. I can see you, but I want you to say hi. Well, you always look real pretty, so I think you're doing just pretty darn good. Okay, now this has got some leftover um, highlight in it, so I'm going to just use the leftover. I am not, like I said, I'm wanting to go really light today. So I'm just I'm just not gonna you know get a bunch of that product. I want to go real light. Okay, so what do you think we ought to do with our eye shadow? While you're thinking about that, Miss Jen, I am going to get my eyebrows on. Don't that look better? Already. Now, I am going to be wearing today what I got on. It's going to be this kind of speckled shirt. I don't know if you can see it. But I have this. I made these a couple of years ago. And uh, I wear them as these over shirts. because I am not one to go sleeveless. Okay, we will do that. We will do the natural tone on the eyes. Okay, so let's go ahead and get
these here in the front. You know, this is going to be a lot quicker. Okay. Natural color. Let's see. I would think that the natural colors are going to come from the glam up. You know, Jen, I just kind of wonder. Uh, to me, this, this is not glam up. That is iconic. And this is glam up. What do you think? <laughs> Am I wrong about that or do you think that's right? Oh, me, 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 me. Okay, we're going to go in with this natural matte right over here. Yeah, okay. Uh, and we're going to do a fluffy brush. And we're just going to get it like right there at the brow line. Now, I like to use this color as uh, my primer color. I like for it to be that base color. So what's your plans today, Jen? Are you over your migraine? with this flat brush and I'm going to do just a little bit of this glow. Just right here. Now that is going to bring up that brow. Which in turn There you go. Did you want me to bring you on the camera? It says, uh, bring Jennifer on the camera. Did you want to come on? Y'all need to say hi when you get on. Okay. We're going to fluff that out a little bit. So what I did was I put this little uh, metallic just right here underneath the brow bone. But this one right here, I put all on it. And that's going to that's gonna bring this brow up. And then when that does that, it's going to bring the face up. You always... <laughs> okay. Are, are you a hot mess right now? Okay, so... Let's go in. I think I'm going to go this color right here in my crease and on the outside. So let's do that. We're going to get that color on our brush. And we're going to go start right here. I don't have enough. And I'm just going to dabble it right there. See, like so. Now, I'm not going to do no cat eye or anything like that. I don't, like I said, I just want to do something really simple today and light. Even though this is looking, you know, like it's going to be. But it's not going to be dramatic at all. I can tell you that for sure. Because once we blend it, it's going to blend out.
Okay, so we have that going on. Now, we're going to get kind of a flatter, uh, fluffy brush, and we're gonna go in with a mixture of this and this. I'm just gonna dab it. And we're gonna go right here under that and while we're there we're gonna blend it in and that's gonna kind of enhance those dark eyes that I've got see how that is This color is really gonna be pretty. You know, and I wanna mention right now that if you're wanting everything to be perfectly on each side, uh, they're not twins, they're sisters. If you'll notice, this eye uh, has more of a droop than this one does. This one uh, is going to come up a little bit more than what this one will, but that can be corrected with concealer. I just want you to be aware that that may happen. Okay, so then I'm going to go in with this color right here. And I'm going to put that right there on the center. Like that. Now, let's see. We need to get our fluffy brush. And we're going to see how we're going to blend all that in together. You don't want anything on your face to look choppy and with lines other than this on the outer side because that's really gonna pull that up. And if you're mature skinned, then that is gonna take some age off of you. So, you know, if you get it, Mix, messed up over here. Don't worry about it. It's, it's going to be taken care of. Just trust the process. Trust the process. Okay, so now that we're, we are going with kind of a, a coppery top look. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to get our liner. And that's going to be on the bottom there. I just love these liners. They're so pretty. And you can smoke them out. They blend wonderfully and they last they last all day long okay so we've got that and now let's go back in with our lighter color and we're just gonna flicker that on see how that is can y'all see it when the light hits it
So Jen, how's your little doggies doing? Your little babies. I tell you, Nina's doing really good. She's healing up really well. She was down for a couple of days. <laughs> and whose fault is that? Can't be yours, huh? Uh, she was she was down for a couple of days, but she did real good after that. Okay. So now we have that, and I'm going to go in, and I'm going to use my angled brush. Well, actually, you know what I'm going to do? I take that back. I am going to use, uh, yes, I spoil mine too. I'm going to take my smudge brush, and I'm going to smudge that a little bit to where the darker color goes into the, uh, the, the uh, lash line, and then that uh, metallic stays just right underneath it. And once again, that's going to make that look really light. Now, if we were going to go you know, bold or anything like that. We could do a multiple t multiple thing. We could, you know, bring this uh, metallic eyeliner up here. A lot of people just bring it right here in the crease and and make a cat uh, make a wing with it. You know, an open wing. Uh, I'm just not gonna do that. I am. Uh, I just want to go really light today. Okay, so we're going to powder that. And I tell you another thing. If you've got wrinkles, you know, not just fine lines, but wrinkles, I want to give you a really good hint. If you go in with our translucent powder, just a little bit, and then if you spray it with our Stay Spray, it will not settle in your uh, wrinkles. It is really a, a good hack. It's a great hack to do. Okay, so now that our eyebrows have uh, dried, I'm going to go in and I'm going to brush those over. Straight up. I'm trying to train my eyebrows to be uh, more, I want them to stand up. I want them to stand up here and I want them to lay down. Um, you know, on the rest. Okay, so far, it's a very light look. So, let's go ahead. Should I just wear mascara, Jen, or should I go with the lashes? To be real honest with you, I don't know, because I like both. Now, even though we're going to go, <laughs> yeah, no, I love my lashes. So, is that, is that mean, let's go with the lashes? Um, I need to get my, lip conditioner on. Well, you know, honestly, since I'm going light, you know what? I think I'm just going to do mascara, Jen. I just think I'm going to do the mascara. And I'm going in with a Zen, of course. 
I like the Limitless. That's what I do my eyebrows with. Oh, you're so sweet. And I'm gonna put a couple of coats on with the Zen. What I love about the Zen, number one, it's only $8.90, and I get that 50% off because I am a beauty influencer. Now, I love it because it's a wet mascara. Now, if you don't like the wet, then you can take that off, it's that easy. Now, you've got the straight side, and then you've got the silicone side. So, you can, what I like about doing it is you get the straight side and you go under and then you get the brush side and you go down. You know why I wear lashes? I, I do have rather long lashes and I really don't need falsies but I'll tell you why I do because when I had my brain surgery look at those look at those lashes can y'all see that I am not kidding when after I had my brain surgery I don't know if it was the anesthetic or what, but I mean, they just, they are so curly that I'll put mascara on them and they just, In a spiral it seems like so that's one reason why I wear falsies because it just seems like that on that one side they're so curly that you know it's odd Okay, here we go with getting those on. And see, it's really hard. It used to not be that difficult for me. I used to never wear falsies. I never wore them. I just, I just never wore falsies because my eyelashes were always so long. Now, my eyelashes are still long, like I say, but it's just a nuisance. Do you have long eyelashes, Jen? And, and I know that you're, and see, this is another thing. Look how flexible that is. Oh, so they got their long lashes from their mama. But you like the limitless. Isn't that the mascara you like? You know, I was thinking the same thing. I was thinking, I bet your girls are major jealous. That, go figure, the guys get them and the girls, <laughs> the girls don't. I've seen a lot of guys have long eyelashes. Oh, okay. Okay. I like to just mix them up. I mean, I get the Zen, and then I come in, and I'll uh, put some limitless, limitless on them. But most of the time... I go in with those falsies because I just can't stand 
for those to spiral there on the end. You know, it's, it's crazy. Nobody's ever said anything to me, but, you know, some people, they're, you know, there's just people in the world that would say, well, I don't understand why they've got to wear that, do that, blah, blah. You know, well, son, this is the reason why old K does it. I've never had a problem until, until I had, you know, like I said, I had surgery. But like I said, we're going to go with light cover. See how those lashes are? We're going to go with the light coverage today. Okay, let's get the spoolie and clean this up because I know that I have got some boo-boos. And that's the neat thing about boo-boos is you can clean them up really easy with a spoolie. Just wait till that mascara dries and flick it off. Okay, now we need to go in with uh, our concealer underneath our eyes. So, we're going to do that. We're going to bring that up. What are you doing for lunch, uh, Jen? I know you're Miss Susie Homemaker. I tell you what, I used to be so much like you. I I would cook. I'd be in, I guarantee, I'd be in that kitchen. Good night, nurse. I catered when I lived in Tuya. But. I would get in there and bake and do cinnamon rolls and. You know what I did this morning? I made a pot of coffee. Usually, I was just freezing this morning. So I thought, you know what I'm gonna do? I am gonna make a pot of coffee. So I made a pot of coffee and I put that uh, chicory coffee in it instead of doing a cold coffee. Cause you sometimes I do a cold coffee and I love it. Um. Anyway, I, uh, okay, I'm going to use a flat Morphe for this. Anyway, I made a pot of coffee, and I put a fourth of a scoop of protein in there with, you know, doctoring it all up my Splenda, or my um, Stevia and stuff. And I had like a chicory protein coffee is what I had. And what I used to do is I used to put um, my chicory coffee in with um, a protein shake like Adkins or you know that pure protein or whatever but I have thought about uh, trying to do some fasting have you done that Jen See, that's what I like. I like to have, I like to have the chicory coffee with um, the as an iced coffee 
with a protein shake. But I'm trying, like I said, I'm thinking about doing this fasting, the 16-8. Okay, what is your, what is your fasting? What, what do you do for fasting? Okay, I'm going to go in and do my little highlight thing here. I call it my princess dot. What is your fast? Is it 16-8? Because I'll tell you, Jen, I'm not, I'm not doing, I'm not, I do, I did keto. And I just didn't lose any weight. And I was thinking it was because I was eating too much of a too much rich foods, and I probably wasn't and still am not getting enough calories, if that makes sense. Oh, look at that. Woohoo! That looks good. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna blend, blend, blend. Let's get us a brush. Okay, we're gonna go in with this heavier brush and we're gonna blend. with like a medium thank you okay during the day I have my coffee protein shakes if I get hungry and a lot of water then for dinner do a protein and a veggie okay well that sounds pretty good okay this is gonna kind of match this blush and I'm only going to go in the center I'm just going to go in the center And what I'm doing with my Cupid's bow, I'm just going in the center on the bottom and I'm making like a heart. So that's what we're gonna do. Now, yesterday I told y'all about how I put the cinnamon in the lip plumper and then I dip my wand into a dark color just to make a really nice Glittery, colory uh, lip gloss. So that's what I'm going to use today. It's very light. It's see-through see kinda. So that
is that, see how that's, yes. See how pretty that is? Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put just a smidgen, just a smidgen of the Iridesa top uh, glowy look. You know, it has kind of like that shimmery. This is our liquid uh, eyeshadow. So I'm just gonna put a little bit on my finger and I'm just gonna dabble that in the center. Now don't put this on your lips if you've used that lip plumper. I mean, now come on, you're gonna get cinnamon or you're gonna get peppermint on your eye applicator and what's that gonna do to your eyeball? You got it. So we're gonna put just a little bit, I mean, just dab. See how that looks? It's real light. It's kind of a see-through-y. And the light just really hits it. So, and it's just, like I say, it's real light. I mean, it's just not, thank you, Jen. I just love that, seriously. It's like I need to blend in though, just a little bit to me. Yeah, that looks better. It's just such a light with my, you know, my eyes seems to be more detailed, but that's okay because if you've got darker eyes or even if you have lighter eyes and you wanna bring that focus in on your eyes in the center part of your face, I don't care if you're going heavy or dark, you're gonna want your eyes and the center taken care of. And how do you do that? You're going to uh, bring in colors that's gonna have their attention and you're also gonna put that lightning uh, concealer down the center because that is exactly where they're gonna look and these little uh, princess dots okay spray and I would say we're done what do you think you said it's beautiful so anyway Jen, of course, again. So this is the look for today. It's a very light, easy look. And I hope you I hope you had fun. And I hope whoever joined had fun. And uh, you go and spoil those babies. Yay! Thank you, Jen. I think it turned out pretty good. I really did. It's just a light, easy feel. So have a blessed day. Know that you're loved.